Breaking news overnight on another potential coronavirus vaccine. Oxford announcing promising results from its clinical trials just days after that big news from Pfizer. Tom Yamas joins us now from a Pfizer facility in Andover, Massachusetts. Good morning, Tom. Michael, good morning to you. More big news coming on the vaccine right now. This is from Oxford AstraZeneca. As you just mentioned, they just wrapped up a press conference moments ago in Oxford. Here's the major headline. They say their vaccine shows a robust immune response in healthy adults aged 56 to 69 and people over saying over 70 saying in phase two results, the vaccine is as effective for older demographic as it is for the younger demographic. They're now in phase three and they should have results by Christmas time. This of course follows that monster news we had yesterday that here at Pfizer, their vaccine is 95% effective across race, ethnicity and age. Moderna, who's not far from here, they're in Cambridge, Mass. Their vaccine about 95% effective. So the next step, Pfizer at any moment, it could happen by tomorrow, they're going to apply for this emergency authorization from the FDA, and then it's a two to four week process. But before the end of the year, Michael, some Americans could get that Pfizer vaccine. And that is some really good news, Tom. But there are some concerns about distribution because the, the Pfizer vaccine needs to be stored at minus 94 degrees. Yeah, that's a major concern, minus 94 degrees. So, Michael, as we're speaking, the vaccine is being made right there in that building. And one of the ways they're able to manufacture this vaccine is with freezer farms. That's how they get the temperature to negative 94 degrees. Now, in a building like this, that's easy. But when you're talking about planes and trucks and other locations to distribute the vaccine in, in a giant way, there becomes some concern, but right now the general in charge of Operation Warp Speed in charge of distributing the vaccine, he says not to worry. They're going to get these freezer farms to the locations where they need them. They're going to be using dry ice and they're going to make sure they can ship this vaccine in a safe way so every American who needs the vaccine ultimately can get it. Michael? That's the news we want to hear. Thank you so much, Tom. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.